daylight. Now, I'm going to go back and press the left button on the uh, four-way and go ahead and, and select OK for uh, the custom preset for doing your white balance actually in an area that you're going to shoot. And you'll see on our normal information screen, when we go back to the standard shooting screen, it's got that little symbol there on the second box on the first row, meaning that you are ready to go ahead and um, use your custom preset. Now, why would you use a custom white balance? Well, if you're in a situation where you're in a room that has fluorescent bulbs, tungsten bulbs, there's light coming through the window, you're shooting in all this mixture of light, it might confuse the white balance computer in the, in, the, in the camera. It probably won't, but you may want to get an exact white balance. So what you do is you take simply take a white piece of paper with you at all times. You set this on, you go ahead and set it on your uh, custom white balance situation there. And you can see it's right there. And then what you do is uh, you, you'll have to preset your function button. I'm going to show you how to do that for one touch white balance. Every camera calls it something different. It's really your custom white balance and in this camera, it's called the One Touch. Um, but you have to set your function button, which you can assign to a whole bunch of different things, to your custom white balance or your One Touch white balance. So the way that you do that, see, I'm, I'm pressing the, the function button here. The way that you do that is, go ahead, and I'm going to show you how that happens. You just press the menu button on the back of the camera. You use your down arrow on the four-way to go down to, to a tools number one. You go to the right on the four-way, and then you go down all the way. And I would set this and forget this. This is one of those first things you want to do. Go to your function button, press the right button on the four-way controller on the back, and then and go ahead up and down until you get to that custom white balance preset, the one-touch white balance, and select OK. Now, I'm going to press the menu button again to get out. We're back into our normal shooting info screen. You can see that when I press the function button, it goes and gets into that one-touch white balance mode. Now, it tells you what to do. The half the manual is built into the camera here. It says press the function button and the shutter button at the same time while uh, pointing the camera at a white piece of paper. Now remember, when you're doing this, put the white piece of paper in the lighting area that you're going to be shooting in to get that exact white balance, that tonal gradation that you want. And see what I'm doing here? I'm holding it in front of the camera. It really doesn't matter if it's focused or, or it's just try to cover the majority of the area of the frame with that, with that image. And I just press the shutter button while holding the function. Now I'll take a look at uh, what we're going to see. And we're going to see one touch white balance. Yes. Okay, yeah, it looks like we got a pretty good shot there. I'm going to hit, hit, hit OK. And now we've got an exact white balance for the particular lighting situation that you're shooting in. I didn't quite have the whole frame covered in white. Be sure that you cover the whole thing if you can. And remember to tuck in a piece of white paper with you. Actually, a gray, 17% uh, gray chart that you buy at the camera store will also work. I have one of those in the camera bag. So there's how to set your uh, custom white balance, or what they call the one-button white balance in the uh, 510.